Science and engineering are at the heart of our modern world. When driven by imagination and aspiration, they provide the technologies that are reshaping our physical environments and social interactions. And when mobilized by concern and compassion, they help us understand and address the myriad daunting challenges facing our now globally interdependent communities. As a result, the opportunities and risks that our decision makers must grapple with every day are all increasingly underpinned by scientific, technological and engineering issues. The purpose of UCL's new Department of Science, Technology, Engineering and Public Policy, or STEEP, is to explore, experiment with and improve the ways that scientific and engineering expertise are leveraged by public decision making and policy processes around the world. Changes in the structure of government and of the civil service have resulted in an increasing shortage of expert science, technology and engineering advice on public policy. STEEP uh, allows us to fill that gap. The sorts of challenges that we're facing, the sorts of opportunities that we can grasp, are cross-sectoral, they're cross-disciplinary, and they cross all of the boundaries of nation-state that we're used to. We need programs that are truly global in terms of bringing together the scientific and engineering expertise, which by definition are already global through their communities, with the broad array of decision-making communities from local through international. So what our new department is about is creating a bridge between policymakers, whether they're in cities, national governments or international organisations, and the multidisciplinary research teams that exist at University College London sustaining a creative capability to link together that multidisciplinary research with policy generation and making is critical to the success of our new department. How should, how can scientists and engineers work with policymakers? What sort of environments should they be in? What sort of foresight studies or integrated assessments should be run? Where are the opportunities for new ways of bringing these communities together? All of this will be part of the education programs on the one hand where students get practical hands-on opportunities in the master's programs and they will be underpinned by the whole array of research programs that we've already begun building. We already have funded research programs looking at how new ways of thinking about the policy frameworks for livable cities might be created, how new business models for national infrastructure might be taken forward by national government and by local government in interaction with commercial activity and how the social sciences might affect the way in which the parliamentary process might work better. On the education program side, from January 2014, we're going to be launching a whole range of executive and professional training programs. These are going to target everyone from early career researchers through to senior executives within policy environments and scientific organizations around the world. From September 2014, we're going to be launching our new flagship master's programs. These are going to cover the whole range of engineering and science disciplines with the idea of focusing on the processes at the interface between science and public policy, engineering and public policy. This exploration of the space that we want to occupy in teaching, in research, and in innovating the way in which policy is created not only in our government here in the UK but in international government and in other countries will be a unique opportunity for academics who are brave enough, bright enough and courageous enough to come and join us on this journey over the next year. At the same time as we launch the department this autumn, we're also going to be launching a new policy engagement laboratory. This institute, which will be cross-faculty at UCL, is designed to leverage the world-class expertise we have in science, technology and engineering, as well as our policy laws expertise, and bring them together with policy communities from around the world on a whole range of topical issues as well as the broader conversation about how national governments, local and municipal governments and international communities structure the advisory processes, the scientific, engineering and technology advisory processes that need to underpin decision making in the 21st century. So what we're about is creating a forum for education and advice for those who need it, whether they be in government, in banks, in regulatory organizations or elsewhere. In doing that, we're going to create a sustainable environment for them to continue to learn. And through our master's programs, we're going to be able to help them hire the best brains that are available to help them face the policy issues that they have every day. I think it's very important that science, engineering and technology are right at the heart of 21st century policy making. 
evidence-based policy is where it's at and you need the evidence that comes from science. UCL has a tradition of social action and engagement and STEEP fits very nicely within that tradition. In UCL engineering, you know, out on the front of the building it says change the world and it's a mission we take very seriously. Changing the world through the creation of better policies that are informed by academic research and analysis is the mission of our new department. It's a unique and timely opportunity to contribute to societal success in the 21st century. For more information about opportunities to engage with STEEP, please look at our website or email us at steep.ucl.ac.uk.